kind of thing a million times, but this kid's a freak. The way this one this week, I know he has a gift when my wheels stay still. But I don't say, I'll tell Joe he ain't. I'm gonna go just to check my feet, boy. I don't know the fuck too long. I guess you can't go wrong. I'm gonna go leave me. Yeah, I've been working on this for the past eh, week since I did my guitar switch on and off. It would barely read any discs, only the store bought ones. And only some of them at that, and the CDRs forget about it, it wouldn't read them for nothing. It plays 300, there's 300 discs and plus one slot. The single. Like in other words, let me show you. I had this, I bought this when I was 18. When I turned 18 from Radio Shack. Sorry for the bad camera. It is what it is, it barely works. Battery, I think, something, whatever, I need a new battery for it. Alright, let's, let's see. Let's try 197. That disc always plays well. I've been through hell with this machine. This arm, it broke. You know, because I didn't know what I was doing in the very beginning. When I say broke, I mean very minor. So a little thing that makes it work right. I fixed it, of course. Um, I replaced one of the capacitors. It, it wasn't bad. It was just a test. We got some Derek Sherinian playing. Planet X. Um... I, every wire was, you know, since I'm 18 years old, you know what I mean? You could just imagine how bad it looked. I got it filled with about 150 discs now. A little bit more, I think. Some of my test discs down this way. Uh, no, you can't. They're over here. I don't know if you could... Yeah, these are like, there's four of them here. Right, you know what I mean? But I could choose anything I want. Um, it turned out I had to do the laser. Some, not the RF power, see this one up here is the RF power. This is an after the fact kind of uh, adjustment on this resistor here. That's very hard, it has to be the way, because what I did was, I figured out I had to, on the back here, take the whole laser unit out and, and set it on there. And it, it's not easy to take it all apart and do it, so you know what I mean? I have it pretty close, it's not perfect. So then the RF makes up for it, so I have the RF higher. I had to lower the, the, the power to get it to read right. It was too high making the, the, the diode noise. Um, yeah, it's slightly out of adjustment right now. That's what, you know what I mean? I'm still in the middle of doing it. But it's been pretty good so far with, with all the CDRs now. So let's see, we'll put it on random, see what it does. Random. It has a sensor that it knows which discs are in which slots. And it figures that out. And all these discs, they're all, they haven't been cleaned. So sometimes they don't play right because the discs themselves are, are all funky and old. That's why I got this here, you know what I mean? I've been doing it all up on a disc that's not perfect. That, I, that fixes it. So it's been a little bit of a project doing all this and getting it right. But, I, you know, little by little, every day I do it, like tweak it some, you know what I mean? That kind of thing. I'm, I got it pretty good, though. You want to hear some Pearl Jam for a second? Uh, what was that on? I think 199, maybe. 199 disc I could do it with the remote too of course but you know whatever making a video it's easier I think it's doing 199 disc it's loading in here the, the the floating base unit it comes out the whole laser assembly the whole housing of it comes up oh this is Soundgarden wrong disc but okay it, like I said, it wasn't playing anything. 
And it, I got this at 18 years old. It's the same thing as, um, what is it? Oh, I forget. What the th uh, not a Panasonic. Not a Toshiba. Yeah, oh, there's another company that it's the exact same model, uh, model of. Maybe Panasonic, I think. I forget now. And I use the service manual from that to... I wish I had an oscilloscope, then I'd have it perfect. But, you know, I do what I can. And that's that. And, you know, this, I'll show you the single loader slot. Final thing. Open. No, access, I guess. Yep, access. It's going to open it where you can put the single slot disc in. Just, you know, if you want to play anything off your shelf. Instead of what's in the machine. So, you know, this would be this, this disc here, you know, whatever. Okay, we'll put it back in just to show you, you know, whatever. Then you hit play. Just one button, play. It'll play it. And what makes the actual disc spin on all, all CD players, not just this one, is when the laser reads the disc, it sees the disc, and then it tells the motor to spin. It's not the other way around. Most people think it's the other way around. That's not true. The laser reads the, the, un, the motionless disc first. It focuses it and then, you know, then it spins it up. And, you know, you, you could have a bad motor and that's why it won't read right too. But you, you can see the speed of the disc. It's pretty nice. I tried to service the motor. It wasn't the easiest thing. But I did a little bit. And that's that. I, I took the, 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 the board off here, behind here, and cleaned, deoxid all the switches, all the, everything here. This side don't need it. It's okay. If I if it ever needs it, I could do it. I, I cleaned around it and all things like that. It, they, all the buttons were perfect. Look, mode. If you want to do like all discs or just a single disc, mode. Oh, well, it don't, it's not in the mode. You can't change it right now. That's why. Program button, repeat, d display. As you could see, it all on point. They're not sticky, nothing. They're all good. And to see the mode went back to single there, but now you can't change. It's just, it's just the way it is. Oh, the jog wheel. You, the wheel here. I'll spin it. We got to access the on stop it from playing first. Watch. Watch all the discs and watch my finger. Just spinning, just spinning, just spinning, just spinning. It makes the disc go around nicely, yes. Yes, it does. In the front, you can see what you want in the front. All in all, it's been a little bit of a nightmare trying to get this right. But I finally figured out, to, you know, I got to take the, the, the unit out, which I've had it out. I finally got to the right part. I didn't want to touch it. That's part of the reason. And I don't have an oscilloscope. But I bit the bullet and went to it. I've been tweaking and it's almost a, it's pretty perfect now. All the disc play. All my CDRs. I won't use it too much, but it doesn't change the fact that I needed it to work. That's all. So I can put it back in my room and then let it be the vent for my Sony receiver amplifier because there's a space underneath and so it's a nice vent instead of my Motu box that has no space and it, it blocks the vent. So what do we need this back? All right. Thanks for watching.